What's cracking with you people? Anansi here and welcome back to Star Wars Night Throat Republic. And the last one, we basically helped cure some undercity residents of the Rackbull disease. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and make our way further into the story and try to find Zalbar now that we've taken care of almost everything we can take care of in terms of um, progression. Now, I want to show you something. I haven't done this before, but I meant to show this earlier. What you can do before you get into a battle is you can actually swap out your weapon and change your playstyle of any character you have. Um, sorry, I accidentally hit the trigger there for a second. I meant to hit the black button. Effectively giving you more options in combat. I didn't show this off because I usually just kind of throw whatever on my character and stick with it. Okay, I, I gotta remember the black button pauses. Not black button, the white button pauses. The black button um, swaps your your ally. So that's so yeah. I usually do this. Um, I usually just kind of set it and forget it. That's just kind of how I do things. But for the sake of completion and the sake of thoroughness, I want to show you guys how to how to handle this now. We are currently poisoned. You might think, and I think I, I think I might have gone over this beforehand, but being poisoned by rat ghouls does not does not give you the rat ghoul disease. I'm I'm going to let you know that right now. So I'm going to turn our awareness up a little bit. Uh, we cannot get any higher on persuasion, and while repair would be nice. We're going to go in and get a little bit of computer and treat injury. That should do it. Actually, no, wait, no, wait. Let's go ahead and knock that down a bit and get our treat injury skill because we're going to be um, at a point, right? Let's see how I can get our. Can we get up to six? Um. All awareness is fairly high, so we'll go ahead and just get put one on computer skill. But yeah, we're running we're running low on on uh, health kits and whatnot. So for the sake of um for the sake of uh just being efficient, the best thing to do right now would be so they're in so he's in the blind spot so they can't see anything. And now he's out. Again, wrong button, dude. Um, but yeah, no, the the um, since we're since we're low on health kits right now, and we're pretty much going to be we're pretty much going to be in straight up survival mode for the next little bit. It would help to I have open oh, seven I yes I did okay. It would help to essentially to help to be able to make the most out of our health kits going forward. Um, so yeah. Also, tree injury does come in handy with other skills of the game as well. Uh, items like security spikes add a bonus to your security skill. Use these to help open difficult locks. So basically, what spikes do is they pretty much give. Uh, what they're saying is that you know if you have a high security skill, spikes add a little bit more onto your security skill to make things easier. Gamorians! Okay, now this is where I'm gonna wanna try to well where I'm gonna wanna get back to my melee skill because yeah. We're gonna deal with a lot of melee based enemies now. And the Gamorians like you would expect inside of um inside of inside of Star Wars just look at these guys. Yes, they do pack a pretty mean punch, so you wanna be careful. This is actually this is actually why I usually have one character on melee and the other two on range. Because what it does is it draws the aggro of the enemy to you, to the to the melee character, while 
simultaneous well, well yeah it, it draws the aggro to you and at the same time makes it easier for your ranged characters to just pick them up at a distance okay now these guys this one would cause for me being smart about this let's get enemy sighted rapid fire him can I focus down anymore? Yeah. I always want to try to focus down as many as you can. Sure. Okay. Now that we got one coming over here. I'm going to swap him over. Mission's probably about to get knocked out. Sometimes it's sometimes it is actually beneficial to just let um, whatever allies about to get taken out get taken out because um, depending on how much health how many health packs you have you might actually get more out of it by letting your but when your power members die you don't want to go this way just yet um, at least that's that's the advice I would give for the time being let's so get down here um let's, let's, let's do this more. So nothing here. It's like the dead end. Anything in here? Yes, yes, there is. Okay, these guys are going to definitely. Um, let me do this one. Not. And then we'll take care of him. Oh, you guys are this far back. Oh no, this is not the end. Well, okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes your uh, your crew will just not be with with you. So yeah, bear that in mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these. What was saying? Oh yeah, also that, that also that is a glitch that doesn't tend to be a dedication pack. I rub the just Every now and then, and I don't know if this is fixed inside of the Steam releases. An Outcast Corsair. Does this have a data pad? Yes, it does. Promised Land Journal. Yep, let's go to Corsair. Um, well, what happened is sometimes the game will just eat your inputs. Uh, items, and I don't know what happened. I don't know. I really don't know what happens. The record of the longer difficult search to find the promised land. It contains many half completed maps and cryptic notes. All attempt to decipher whether the legend is true or simply a child's fable. By itself, the journal does not contain enough information to solve the mystery, however, it could be a viable piece of the puzzle. And remember, and remember we were trying to find uh, three more journals. We already found one. Well, we have the Apprentice Journal and three other journals um, to return. To re to kill, um, so there's one. But yeah, no. Uh, let's look for here. Looking for another one. Looking for another one. Um. Okay. Can I disable this mine? Walk up to it. But yeah, no. There is a glitch that does have occasionally happen where the game eats your inputs. Okay, it's a little too low. He did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Okay. I think mission might have to be our demolitions expert for right now. But I don't think I have the required. So I think, yeah, I don't think my character has the required um, skill to take care of that. But yeah, no, the, um, the, the game will eat your inputs. But it will also temporarily make you invulnerable to to the AI's attack. So I don't know what causes it. It just kind of happens. There we go. So yeah, keep that in mind. Because uh, you never know when that glitch might occur and help you out. The, uh, so I say it makes you immune. It doesn't make you immune for long. Eventually you will re-register on the rate on the... Uh, 
on the um, what's it called on the enemy radar, and then start taking damage against them. Just bear that in mind. You can't just you can't just manipulate and cheese it. Okay, so now that they're in, now they're in range, we're going to go ahead and re-equip my fiber sword and my fire blade. Knock that one out. And thankfully, and thankfully due, to, due to my high dexterity on this character, it's very easy to just avoid taking hits. Critical strike. Now I forget what causes what causes the uh, the the stun. Like I forget what checks you have to go through to hit the stun. Now I believe this is another entrance you can take to get in. Okay. So yeah, so that's okay. So I was wrong about that one. But you remember that there was another entrance into the sewers that was um blocked, and we couldn't get through it. Yeah, that's where that's where that one goes to. Okay. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Before I do that, because I seem to remember something specific about this. Where if you attack him, a lot more come through the doors, and you don't want to get ambushed in the hallway. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Mission, do you mind? There we go. Oh, dearie me. Okay. Yes. As you know it. Attack in here, so we're gonna let her continue on. There. And keep it going. And there we go. Okay, so I think it'll take a couple of hits there, but yeah, it, but yeah, um, I do, I, but yeah, oh, what am I trying to get out of here? Yeah, so moving on from that glitch and everything else, um, I, I do, I, I, I do like this particular sewer level, I'm not usually the biggest fan of them in games, because I just find them to be rather unoriginal. But because because a lot of times, at least in my opinion, they come out of nowhere, and I don't understand the reasoning for them. But at the very least, with um, with with the Natural Republic, with this particular sewer level, it doesn't come out of nowhere. The natural progression is that you just keep going lower and lower and lower into the um, into Taurus until eventually you're just here in the sewers. So it does make an amount of sense. All right, the dragon's an enemy. Um, but yeah, so it does make an amount of sense. Otherwise, I could otherwise I could take it or leave it. So we got your med pack. Another med pack. Okay. Um. Okay. Mission since you're the hacker here, fine. Oh dear! It appears we've been bamboozled. And there we go. So let's get a couple of things here. And get a couple of... Alright, okay, mission, do your thing. Ooh, a Pazak, we got oh we found Zalbar's bowcaster, so he's gotta be nearby. Yes. Got some Pazak cards and we found Zalbar's bowcaster. Okay, that isn't too bad. Ready. Okay.
Okay, I got ganked. Um, the Gamorian elites. Okay, that one could have gone better. I'm probably gonna die here. Not gonna lie. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Karth. Let's go ahead and let him use an advanced one. I don't believe Karth has a very good, um... I don't believe he has a very good, um... Melee stat. So we're going, so we're going to try to do this with, uh... As pretty much as many, um... Ranged attacks as we can. Okay, uh, mission is getting walloped here. Ready. Okay, Karth is barely holding on, and we are out of advanced ones. If he dies, the mission is not going to last very long. Right. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm probably going to die here, not going to lie. Okay, only one thing to do, run away! They will eventually uh, leave you alone, but it helps to just keep it going. Is he still coming? Is he still coming? Yes he is. Yes he is. Yes he is. I ran to a dead end. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. Leave me alone, dude. Um. Then we'll have to swap to her fiber blade. Don't show off, mission. Now it's not the time to show off. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Come on, mission, hit him. All right. Now, now using this cardio regulator. No, nope. that is not working. Okay. So now. What I'm going to do... So yeah, that, that's, a, that's a technique you can use. I, I have used it more times than I care to count inside this game. But yeah, so what we're going to do at this point is... Sneak our way back. We probably should go through this door, okay. Go ahead and just stealth mode. So the problem right, that happened right now is that I thought that it would that it would um he didn't see me. Okay, so we have two minor fragments. So I'm going to do this. This someone's gonna get hurt. I'm gonna throw a frag mine, run back, and do that. Okay, sometimes the best thing you can do is just trip a guy up. Not very buddy gone, and us fresh out of med packs. That's one med pack, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back this way because no wait, that's right, that's right. We already got that. Okay, so we already got that one. I got an adrenaline amplifier, so it's gonna be plus two reflex. Um This basically that's basically a higher a higher um health pool you can use. And swap her to back to the Arcanian heavy pistol. What? 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and heal up here. 320, weapons locker. Did we already open this? Did. Going to cancel stealth mode because it's not needed right now. Sure. Now. Hmm. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on Terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. You're a sight for sore eyes, mission. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Who's that with you? These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Yeah, good to meet you, Zabar. I'm a Nazi wolf. <laughs> you know the language of my people? That is rare among your species. I am impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There's only one way I can ever repay such an act. I will swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. Better be sure about this. I am sure, Mission. This is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are being used as slave labor on our own homeworld. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Gaboris captured me, I thought it was doomed to a life of servitude. I have been saved from such a fate, and the only way I can repay that is through a life debt. Uh, let me guess, it means I got a walking carpet following me. I've always wanted a Wookiee slave! Uh, <laughs> nah, that's not what that means. Uh, it's some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. In the presence of all, in the presence of you all, I swear my life debt. Forever af after I will be by your side, Anansi. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great Rorschach trees of Kashyyyk. Like, I don't suppose there's any way I can get out of this. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to accept his vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. Uh, I'm glad to have you aboard, Mission. Or, great, a Wookiee to stop no spunk. Why won't this nightmare hit <laughs> so many guys? Oh, Jesus. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door into that scum den. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. Whoa. Nobody's, nobody said anything about a Ranker monster. Or a Ranker monster. Good. I'm spoiling for a fight. It's like, Rancor? Are you serious? <laughs> there used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before. So I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. That's not really an option. Let's go. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Zalbar has joined your party. Remember, you can only have two party members with you at any time. The others will wait for you back at the apartment. You can switch party members using the party selection screen, accessible by pressing A on the map screen. This button is disabled in areas that are considered dangerous. 
So, basically, now I've never actually done this before. I usually always have um have have a uh, Karth in mission with me at all times. Um, Zalbar is our first scout. But since I've already shown off the dialogue that you get with Karth in mission inside the in, inside the um inside the sewers or it will well, when they're with you because it's just because she, she and Karth had that exchange we showed off earlier. That's basically the reason why I kept her, keep her in here because I never know when I'm going to do it. But if you do things the way I did, you can get that exchange. And let's now with Zalbar in here, and since we picked up uh, we picked up his weapon earlier, we have his bowcaster. Now, since Zalbar's a Wookiee, he cannot he cannot equip any armor at all. His armor screen is permanently locked. So you have to supplement whatever armor skills that you, whatever armor defense you would get by using other defensive measures. You also cannot put on, I don't, I believe you cannot put on any headgear. So you're basically just kind of stuck with Zalbar. That's one downside to him, but he is pretty powerful. Now he, now he's at level five. Let's go ahead and auto level him up real quick. He's at level, he's at level four. He's at level five now. So his skills, um, he's got. Low computer skills, high demolitions, no stealth, high awareness, no persuasion. Like, mine is persuasion, like, you cannot persuade me for Jack. Decent repair, no security, decent treat injury, and that's about it. So his feats are critical strike flurry, but he has power. That's usually a soldier skill, so that's kind of something something interesting about him in terms of his um, abilities. Those has rapid shots, so he's more a physical dealer, but he also has his um, bowcaster, which is kind of odd. Now, here's the map screen. If you press A, you can select whatever character you want at any amount of time. I do not believe that. Yes, I'm correct. So you cannot just use this. You cannot just return a party member to the hideout or to your apartment and have them just come back full health. You have to heal them yourself or wait to the next story beat. You can also press X on the screen at any time to return to the hideout automatically. Now we have Zalbar here, and we have the bowcaster. Let's uh, call it apart here. Have an Anansi. You've been awesome. I'll catch you later.